Hello guys, it's Mashtag here. Today I want to show you the easiest way to run Emulation Station as frontend on your RG350 using a completely pre-configured disk image. It was never easier to get this beautiful and well-organized frontend to your RG350 without going through many many setup steps like when you install it manually to your system. The entire configuration is already done for you. Beside Emulation Station, the image comes with all emulator systems pre-installed, pre-installed themes, and the best, it also includes a big set of ROMs and a bunch of ported games like Jazz Jack Rabbit, Open Tyrion, Free Doom or Streets of Rage Remake. I want to say big thanks at this place to Matthew Mackin for providing this image to the RG350 community and all the work he put into it. I'll guide you through the steps to get this work on your device Let's get started. First of all, we want to download the disk image. Therefore, I put you a link into the video description and an alternative link where you can download the image file. Simply click on the link or copy the address into your browser and start the download. Since this is a very big file, about 20 GB, it might take a long time to download depending on your bandwidth. Now let's wait for the download to finish and see you in the next step. Now that the download is complete, switch over to your download folder and find the file called 64GB internal SD card.rar. Click on the file to extract the content. This took me another 5 minutes to complete, so I will fast forward it and see you as soon as it has finished. To flash the file to ASD card, we need a tool called Win32 Disk Imager. You find a link to that tool in the video description. Just open the link and it will take you to the download page of Win32 Disk Imager. Find the download button over here, click on it and wait for the download to complete. Now open Win32 Disk Imager and click on the folder icon over here. Here we choose the disk image we just extracted. To make Win32 Disk Imager show the image file, choose star.star .star from the file extension. Now you can select the image file called 64GB Backup Internal and choose Open. Ensure that the drive you selected in the upper right corner matches with your SD card. If you apply this image to your operating system disk, you will break your system. So be very sure that everything is correct before you continue. Now click on write and confirm the warning message to start the flash process on your SD card. This will take about an hour to complete, so I will see you back as soon as the job is done. We successfully flashed the image to our SD card. We can now close Win32 Disk Imager and remove the SD card safely. Since the disk image is designed for a 64GB SD card, you might want to make use of the remaining space of your SD card, in case yours has a higher capacity. In my case, I use a 128GB SD card, so I want to assign the remaining space of it to the image so I can use it to put further ROMs and games on it. So this makes the next step optional. If you have a bigger card, I highly recommend you to make this additional step. To adapt the storage, we need a tool called Disk Genius. You find a link to this tool in the video description. Install it to your PC and start the application. On the left hand side, you see all your internal and external drives connected to your PC. Choose your SD card from the list and expand it to see the primary partition on it. Right click on it and choose Resize Partition from the context menu. In the next window, you see the space that is currently used by the partition. 
To make use of the full capacity, simply move the mouse over to the primary partition and increase its size to the full size of your SD card. Now click on the start button and confirm the following warning message by clicking on yes. Now this genius will resize your partition to the maximum size of your SD card. This takes some time, so I will fast forward this step until it's finished. Now that the job is done, click on complete to leave the dialog and remove your SD card safely. Now it's time to insert the newly created SD card to our device. Therefore, I took a small cross screwdriver to loosen the four screws in the corner of the back cover. After the screws are removed, you can get in between the back cover and the body of your RG350 and gently pull off the back cover. Your battery might still be taped to the back cover, so I recommend you to unplug the cable from the mainboard before you take the cover off. Now you can exchange the existing SD card with the one we recently flashed. Reverse the steps to put the cover back on the device and the job is done. Now finally, let's turn the device on and see if it worked. The device boots right into emulation station. From the menu, we can see all the pre-configured systems. For sure, you can add further systems to emulation station if you like. The image comes with some pre-installed themes for emulation station that I like to show you here. You can choose from six pre-installed themes and the best it also comes with my favorite, the NBBA theme and its modded version. Since the default configuration doesn't have the ported games listed in a section in Emulation Station, you can quit back to the OpenDingux system. Here, you can start your apps or ports as you did with the default firmware on this device. Let me show you the footage of some pre-installed ports now. Beside the ported games, the image comes with a big load of game titles for each pre-configured system and make the device a ready-to-go retro gaming handheld. I like the idea of a pre-configured image very much because it saves a lot of time to set up emulation station, get ROMs and themes or collect all the ported games together. I'm pretty sure this image will get further developed in the community in order to add more systems, themes or games to it. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and have fun with this great firmware image for your RG350. If you like, give me some feedback by clicking the like button, subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any further videos on this channel. Have a nice day and see you in my next video, bye!